Treasurer Josh Frydenberg has used his official campaign launch to condemn fake independence, saying a vote for them is a vote for Labor. Pressure is mounting in his Victorian electorate of Kuyong, the Treasurer admitting he's facing the fight of his political life. To a crowd of 1,000 Liberal faithful... How good is people power? Wow. Treasurer Josh Frydenberg leading an ocean of blue and hoping to flood a sea of teal. Now, as you can see in Kuyong, it's a bit of the battle of the boards. It's like North Korea, South Korea on each side of the road. At his official campaign launch, Victoria's most senior Liberal didn't hold back against Kuyong independent candidate Dr Monique Ryan. I'm not up against a true independent. I'm up against a political party. You can barely find a Greens or a Labor sign across our electorate. Why? Because they're running dead and they're now in bed with these so-called independents. The Treasurer condemned his opponent for failing to reveal who she'd vote for in the event of a hung parliament. A vote for a so-called independent here in Kuyong is a vote for a hung parliament and Anthony Albanese. The Climate 200 backed independent Why is his biggest hours. challenge after 12 years as the sitting federal member. And with a margin of 6.4%, pressure is mounting in Kuyong. Recent internal polling conducted last week showed Ms Ryan had a two-party preferred lead over Josh Frydenberg, 59 to 41. A lady came up to me and she said, Josh, I'll be voting for you. She was very normal, very sensible. And then she volunteered the fact that she was Monique Ryan's mother-in-law. Dr Monique Ryan's team has told Sky News the Treasurer's political tactics are lacking in integrity. In a statement, they've acknowledged Ms Ryan signed a code of conduct not to use any member of her opponent's family as election fodder or for ridicule. They say she is standing by it, but it is disappointing Mr Frydenberg isn't doing the same. Independent candidates looking to unseat Blue Ribbon strongholds are a threat to electorates like Kuyong, and the Treasurer is all too aware, admitting that this will be the fight of his political life. And the next few weeks will be very challenging, uh, not just for me, but for every uh, member for Parliament uh, running for re-election right around the country. Still, he remains in high spirits, confident the Liberals have what it takes to win the election on May 21. It's not a tricky or multiple-choice question, but who today knows what the unemployment rate is? 